Hello friends, welcome back to my channel MBV Mohit Sharma. Today I am going to talk about a very important concept of Lean Six Sigma which is control chart. I have already made some videos on control chart but this video will talk about how to create a control chart in Excel sheet. So let's get started with the video. So before we begin, let's revise what is a control chart. The control chart is a graph used to study how a process changes over time. A control chart always has a center line for the average an upper line for the upper control limit and a lower line for the lower control limit. So we can call it a time series plot with control limits. And in today's video, I will show you how to create all these lines and the control chart in Excel sheet. Another important concept in control chart is that the control limits are plus minus three standard deviation from the central line. So I'm going to use all of these pointers to create a control chart in Excel sheet. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So I have cycle time data before the project and I am going to create a control chart on the same. I am copying and pasting that data on a separate sheet. The first step to create a control chart in Excel sheet, we need to calculate the average which will represent the central line. So for this data, the average is 4.11. The next step is to calculate the standard deviation. And the formula to calculate standard deviation is, if you write STD DEV, you will get that formula. bracket close and enter. So the standard deviation is 1.002884. The next step is to create the data for the center line. Which is equal to this number, which is 4.11. Now copy and paste this data in the entire cell. Now if you remember, I have said that the upper control limit is plus three standard deviations from the central line. I will press F4 to hold this column, which is D3. And if you drag this, you will get the upper control limit. The lower control limit would be center line minus three standard deviations. And now I press F4. Now if you drag this, you will get the data for LCL. Now I have all the necessary data to create all the four lines in the control chart. So let's proceed to create the control chart. Now select all the data points and go to insert. Line graph. If you click here, you will get a control chart like this. You could go to the layout and select a chart which looks more like a control chart with the output similar to mini tab. So this green line represents the upper control limit. This purple line represents the lower control limit. And this red line represents the central line which is the average. And all these data points are within the control limits, which represents that the process is in statistical control. So friends, this is how you create a control chart in Excel sheet. In my next video, I will create a control chart which reflects two data sets like before and after data of the same project. 
So friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Do also subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.